appreciate everybody having a hangout with Santos, Santos Bonacci and David Giametia. Hello guys, both of them. One's on my tablet, one's on my phone. Santos says the internet isn't very good in Mexico. Is that right, Santos? That's right. It is bad, bad, bad. Mm. Do you feel a bit like you're you're a captive now then? Uh, yeah, like everyone else. Uh, um, it's it's locked down here for sure. I can only travel around in my town. There's uh, security checks on the outskirts of town. Uh, and you, can't, you can only go to a neighbouring town if you've got a good reason. And they're slowing down the internet. It's definitely... I just paid for the best, best internet you could possibly have, an extra $100 a month. And um, it's failing. I can't upload any pages this morning. Not good, I'm Santos. I'm on my phone outside. Not good at all, sister. Mm. Apart from the internet, how are you doing then? Because you're in Mexico right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not, do not doing really well at all. Yeah. Oh no, that's not good, Santos. Yeah, been... yeah, itching all night last night and itching the night before, two nights in a row now. It's, uh, it's electrical. It's definitely AI, 100%. I know that because I've confirmed it many, many times with uh, others who are suffering the same thing. And through my res research, so it's not good. It's an electrical AI itch and it's torture, sister. Torture. Right now I'm itching all over the place. Scratching every part of my body. Oh. Did it, is it followed you, Santos? Because did this happen to you in Australia as well? Because obviously you're, you're in America or Mexico at the moment, but did it happen to you in Australia? Do you think they're following you? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, not a, it's not a country system. It's, it's a worldwide computer system. And your biology has a certain frequency. And so the machinery is set up to follow you and torture you all around the world, wherever you go. Golly. I'm very sorry to hear that, Santos. Mm -hmm. Yep. I've got, I've got David here with it. me right now, David. What do you think about that, David? Um, ciao Santos, happy moon day and, uh, and thank you for joining. It's always good to hear your voice and uh, we send our love and respect and uh, vibrations, uh, positive ionised vibrations with you. So uh, you know, I just want to say that first, good to hear you brother. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's right, I'm privy to um, some of the, uh, I don't know, our research and what we've discovered with the cells and vibrations and magneto electro um, bandwidths and you know the uh, the five and the G there the uh, technologies it's, uh, it's there's quite a few reports of uh, of similar afflictions um, others are uh, uh, I don't know are complaining of so I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy something like that from all accounts and. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not able to definitively say, but it appears that uh, there's a deception afoot and um, we are being affected. The, the plants, the birds, the bees, um, you know, trees turning brown. There's lots of uh, physical effects that we're seeing of modern times that are quite worrying. I don't think there's been full disclosure there. Um, this technology that we're, we're having brought onto us, so he's right. I see it. The Santos says it is a worldwide grid. We've got SpaceX with the ability to put millions or you know thousands of antennas on the ground, and they're chucking up uh, low orbit uh, um, light satellites allegedly into low orbit. Um, again, thousands of them. So um, there's a film that I can recall, Geo Storm or something like that. And what I heard with uh, SpaceX and five. Jeep, uh, David, 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 wow. he's connecting. His his line is connecting. <laughs> is that what we're going to get of Santos? Maybe, yeah. Well, if it's sketchy, but that's it. So. Sorry, everybody. We're trying to connect with Santos. Right, the line broke, so I have to call him back. One second. That, that happens sometimes, even on a phone. And wherever you are, you can lose your connection. But waiting for network it says connecting just bear with us everybody right we've come back on in a different way now 
Do you have to go into town then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, reception on my phone is not very good where I live, uh, but the internet is down today. I've been speaking to a few locals and uh, it's it's down everywhere in town. Um, I've had poor internet since I've been in Mexico, since March 15. Well, when I say not very good, it's not very good as elsewhere in that it goes up and down. But in the last three days, it's been very, very bad. And it's definitely a telltale sign that it's going to go down. So I'm warning everybody, everybody get ready. It's, it's definitely going to go down. The other things would be to um, watch the banks. The banks are going to, obviously, what underpins everything is money and how people can access money and use it to transact and get by they're obviously trying to limit everybody right so that's going to be the problem watch the banks they'll be closing soon too i i think if if they get to that they're the two things that are crucial for humanity mm -hmm. it's like nasa's taking yep. us over or something yeah. we've been bought we're a commodity Mhm. Mm no, I know. What they're going to do is do a big switcheroonie on us. Everything's going to be different. Way more artificial. Way more AI. And secular. And me mechanistic. No more natural remedies. No more natural behaviour. Um, everything's going to be... They're already... I mean, they've already set planted the seeds for that you know this is social distancing and everything now now people have a new way of interacting now germs threats um, suspicions are going to uh, control people's behavior and they're so evil they know what humans need they know how humans behave on the principles of love and virtue honesty and they're going to take that away from people. Now it'll be like uh, people will be more like machines is what they're going to try and make people like machines to, just to function so that a, a system can prosper. The collective, not the individual. See, in the true way of living, there's always the individual and the collective. There's always you and God. There's always uh, your mind and the universal mind, right? So now what they're trying to do is universalize everything, you know, a universal system. Um, I'm talking to someone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She got arrested and basically i want her to tell her story but she got arrested and it made her look up the law and she realized that you weren't being taken to court by this co uh cooperate a corporation called usa you were taken to court by the universal something or other which david knows about and um you know you weren't a human being you're a commodity you were already that before we started this yeah, Santos knows yes. that one. That's exactly. the UCC. The UCC, is it not? The International Commercial Codes that run the banks and stuff, brother. He, he knows about that. That's what we talked about like the other day, Santos, about the commercial, the dead um, entity of the legal person, you know. Mm. But we were already there before this started, mm -hmm. weren't we? We already had yep. all that. So, yeah. And they've got a lot of money, haven't they? Because they get it from your birth certificate. They get um, insurance companies or mortgages. They get life cover on you. So they'd be making masses of money out of the people anyway. Yes. Well, in the UK, Santos, has blue skies at the moment. No chemtrails or clouds or whatever those planes do. Um, yeah, the sun is out, but it's not very warm. But it, the sun is out. I wonder why that is. A lot of people are reporting this. Why do you think there's no, um, they're not bombing the skies with chemtrails now when you think they, that they would, right? You'd think that they would be bombing it to poison people even more. I, I, I don't, the only thing I can think of is that that part of the New World Order 
has been paralysed somehow. I, I can't see why they would relent and let up on chemtrails. It's one of their, it's one of their great, great assets. Or has it, has it run its course? Has it, has it had the required effect, the desired effect of dumbing people right down to lead them to this point where they just throw away all their rights? Now they don't need it. I don't know, but we've had we've had many blue sky days over the UK. Well, I have. At least when I look out the window, it's blue. Well, when I got here, carry on. When I got here this morning, I, I came to, to town to do this, and um, I come to my favourite juice bar, and there were two guys out the front and a crowd surrounding that were fighting each other, were trying to fight each other. And they're both known in the community, and they're both very nice guys. They're both from, um, I think, from Canada. And they had to call the police. The police came and handcuffed them and took took them away. This sort of stuff does never happen in, in a town like Masunte. So I asked a few of the people what's going on, and, and no one could understand why these two would want to fight each other. It's like as though, and I woke up this morning itching like a dog. I'm not itching now. And last night I um, probably only had a couple of hours of sleep, but I was severely itching. And I guarantee you uh, that it was AI. And it was really vicious. I think last night was the worst, worst itch I've ever had. It, it takes my breath away. I was telling David right before we went online, Santos, that they can use harp like that. They can incite people through harp, whether they can or they can't. I don't know, but who, who knows? But these these programs I was watching, they were saying they have it over they can have it over towns, and then they just incite. They can incite people to go to war. I was going to say that's the conclusion I was going to draw. Um, what they do is they agitate people. I, I've been I've been agitated like this for 10 years I, I, like i'd wake up some mornings and i just wanted to you know be angry at everything it, it's caused havoc in my life and for no reason at all at all at all and it just controls your behavior it really really does it, it really, might be really certain humans pick up on their whizzing through us yes so so Right now, I'm struggling to stand up. I am, my head is faint and dizzy. I feel really, really, really sick. Very, very hard to concentrate. And still itching a little bit, but the feeling is, I don't feel natural and happy and clean. I feel polluted and agitated and it's irritable. It's um, whether it's 5, 5G, I suspect 5G is already up. That's what I think. Or, or um, it's been up and they haven't turned it all the way up, except for certain times during the day. Because it's incredible how, for no rhyme or reason, I'll just start itching out of the blue. I'm going to put the um, camera on me one day. I, I was going to do it last night, but... I just couldn't be bothered just to record 10 minutes of what I go through. I've never ever shown anybody because every time I do a show, um, I'm not really itching. It's that those are the breaks where I get a little bit of peace. I'm lucky that I get a little bit of peace and that's when I can be productive and I get stuff done. But generally I'm just sitting there scratching like a monkey and it's, it's just, I haven't got enough hands. And it ranges from burning to the it's not just an itch it's it's tickling it's really insidious hideous tickling all over the body like insects crawling under the skin it's spasms convulsions burning skin uh, prickling uh, stinging and sometimes it's like you're lying in a bunch of nettle or um, prickly thorns, thistles, and that's my life. That's what I'm going through. I've been going through that severely for 10 years, even more, but the last 10 years, they've vamped it up because, of course, I woke up in 2007 
and I was doing 12 hours of research every day, you know, researching the Vatican, the Jesuits, the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergers, and of course, when you do that, there's a logarithm that, you know, tells the, the beast system, um, <laughs> informs them that you're one of those, you know, of course, and what they'll do then is they'll use your devices to torture you at convenient times during the day. And for me, it's when I go horizontal, when I go to bed. As soon as I go to bed, it starts. Last night, I laid down, I wasn't itching all day yesterday. Come 11 o'clock, I lie down and one little sting on my forehead. And then I, I knew, as soon as I felt that sting, I knew, right, here it comes. And it came. Within five minutes, I was being tortured with the burning, the stinging, the tickling, the tingling, the pricking, the convulsions and the spasms all together now. Formerly, it used to be just one or the other. One night I'll have a tickling, the next night I'll have a stinging, the next night I'll have a burning sensation. It was always just one thing. Now, I get hit with the whole lot. And let me tell you, the reason why I believe and know it's AI because I get short of breath I'm a very good breather I've done lots of yoga and I know how to control all that and keep it uh, keep my breath under control and but this this is something else it just attacks the lungs or what or the cells and takes away the oxygen and then my heart starts pal palpitating so it's a whole series of things that come upon me and it's just what do you do? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, uh, many, many of my loved ones that have seen, uh, the close to me have seen it. Um, my my first wife remembers remembers it. My second wife Hiromi remembers it. Uh, my partner after my second wife which it basically destroyed that relationship. She remembers it clearly because it absolutely destroyed our relationship. And other people like my mother, my mother just... No, no, it, see this is the thing. Whatever they, whatever they uh, torture you with, is always going to be different to the guy next to you. This is how they work, okay? They grab a, they get a family, they get funding, right? These people, they, the, the, the government gives them money and it gives them a, a job to do. So they sit behind a computer and they might get um, the Smith family in um, such and such a town. That's your job. And what you've got to do is you've got to hit each member with a different frequency and a different uh, torture system. So one of those members of the family, they will start getting depressed. So their torture is depression. They go off to the doctor and the doctor prescribes for them medications that are already pre being prepared for those particular symptoms. So then they'll monitor their records they, to see whether they're frequencies are having the effect. The, the other family member, they will have an, a different frequency and they will get obese and put on weight and not know why or how to go on diets and lose their weight. Another member, they will hear voices in their head. Another member, they will just get cancer. And so there's endless amount of different frequencies and they are very, very clever to, to be able to uh, triangulate each person according to their, um, their DNA and their particular uh, bio frequencies. And they will experiment according to their choice. With me, they know that I'm very productive. And so what they try to do is take me out 
at night so I can't sleep. And then the next day, you know, I'll have readings and, and shows to do and I just won't be able to do it because I can't, I can't do things publicly when I'm in that state. I'm in a very, very bad, bad state. And no matter how much I try, uh, I can't bring myself to be my normal self to be able to function properly to perform those activities. And that has caused me, it's been a hell, it's been a hell on earth because not only am I cancelling things on the day when they come to me, but I'm trying to catch up with the, the already cancelled things. So when people, uh, for instance, all around the world make bookings for a reading or a consultation with me and I have to cancel it, well, they want to reschedule and they want to reschedule on their time. And and that causes havoc because of all the time zones. And then there's always double bookings or there's missed appointments or... And so I've always got a backlog of people that I'm, I'm having to reschedule and, and look after. And it is hectic because those people, they've only got one thing to do and that is to talk to me. But me, I've got tens and tens of things to do because I've got uh, products I want to make for syncretism, I want to upload online, I've got to do readings, I've got to do shows and that's all scheduled and I, I've got multiple things to do. See some people when they write to me it's kind of like they don't get it that they're not the only ones I'm talking to. <laughs> you know so if I answer someone on Messenger for instance and answer one of their questions as soon as I answer them, they're on the other end. They're thinking, oh, I've got his attention. I'll start talking to this guy now. Well, I'm off to the next guy because I've got 150 messages every day on a messenger. No, more than that, way more than that. Like I'll wake up in the morning and there's 100. So, so I might hit the first one and answer it, right? By the time I get to the second one, he's already answered with 10 pages of other questions and I'm on the second guy and he's there like, well, well, where are you? Hey, Santos, I, I, I replied, uh, 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 here I am. Well, where did you go? You know, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> I've just begun. I've just got up, I'm itching, I'm scratching, and I just started, and I'm answering out of courtesy, but, but they, they don't understand because they've only got three, three friends on Facebook, and I'm one of them, whereas I've got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, and they're contacting me every day. It's hectic. It's just... It's totally hectic. If I didn't have this itch, I'd be able to cope. I'd, I'd be on it, you know, but I can't. I'm forced to, you know, if I go and meditate, for instance, the moment I sit there and breathe and do my yoga is the moment the itching comes to me. It somehow knows when my body temperature drops and when I'm trying to relax and heal. It knows and it jumps on me straight away and stops me. So all my yoga, my meditations, my sleeping, my resting, all of it is compromised. All of it. My whole life is absolutely compromised. I'm, um, I, I struggle through everything that I've got to do. Everything. And it's all because of this frequency. And then, of course, you've got people who uh, judge you. You know, like they judge a fish by how well it climbs a tree. You know? um, and so what they'll do is they'll see me struggling. And then because they've only got a very limited, narrow mind, they will say something like, oh, it's, it's your vegan diet, Santos, you need to eat meat. And then the next guy will say, oh, it's, it's astrology, you know, you're teaching astrology, and that's satanic, and the, the demons have got you. And then another guy will say, oh, it's um, because you teach uh, syncretism. And then everybody's got their opinions, you know? And, and then, but these people themselves have got their own problems, but they're ready to judge you by their standard of measure, you know? And it's, it's none of those things, and it's all of those things. But with AI, it's so clever because it has destroyed many, many people. And here's one example. Relationships. Don't ever take your relationship for granted because I'm telling you, if you're in a, lo a loving relationship, the system knows you are, and it will get in either your head or your partner's head and cause you to fight. And that's why, that's how they work. It's, it's the core of a, a united community, partners and families. 
and that's where they're getting. And you'll notice now these days, um, partnerships don't last more than more than a couple of weeks or a couple of months, or if if that, you know, a year. If you get a year out of a good loving partnership, you know, you're doing really really well. That's like um, in the olden days. That's like um, you know, 40 years of marriage. It's down. It's reduced to about a year now. I find that people are writing to me from all over the world, telling me of, of their heartache that you know their girlfriends have taken off with another guy, or you know uh, their boyfriends just picked up and left, and um, you know they're fighting all the time. Or there's so many relationship problems. So please take it to heart, folks. You, everyone's being attacked. Don't sit there and think. You know, oh, that's that's what happened to them, and it won't happen to me. We're all in the same boat, and everybody's affected by this evil field of AI, which is has one intent: to destroy humanity and make us mechanistic and robotic. Yeah, I kind of uh, agree with you on that one, Santos, because another person called Josh Stone was trying to show you the motherboard, and they've set the whole towns up like it's an inside of a computer. So. That must do something, mustn't it? Oh, for sure. For sure. Mm. Mm. David, do you want to say anything? Yes, sir. Uh, hello. First of all, my brother and my sister, thank you um, for doing this for everybody on behalf of, and uh, I'm very happy to see uh, and hear from Santos. Um, I'm not so happy to hear um, of the direct energy weapons or targeted individual um, stuff there. But uh, I'd like to reflect on what's been said, if I may, and I just want to send you both love and light um, and say thank you on behalf you know, of everybody else that may benefit from this. Uh, you both uh, live in legends and I value and love you lot. So, uh, all right, that said. <laughs> what have we touched upon? Um, I'll do it slowly and through what Santos has gone through there. I've made some notes, so I'm looking at the the, uh, the areas. Um, the, the heart palpitation, Santos, I can sympathise because I've been getting them for a couple of years. I've kept it private because I don't want uh, you and I and sister here, our targeted individuals via the locally vampiristic energies that Santos has just touched upon there. So I don't want to give too much away, but now is the time for cards on the table, um, I do believe. So I'm suffering from the loss of sleep, a little bit of spasms, fogginess, uh, low energy, heart palps, and uh, yes, uh, what man's talking about there, direct energy weapons and targeted individuals via AI. Um, notice the alpha and the indigo, but an AI as alpha and I and mon-I and the monotheism that we found here. So, um, yes, uh, the smart, smart dust, is it? And nanotech, it's uh, it's very real and it's very prevalent. So those that don't know anything about that, that's new to them on this, there's a few key words there um, that Santos has mentioned before and, and, and what I've been um, looking at. It's, uh, yeah, we seem to be in a, in a I don't know, a, a dissonance of resonance as, as a family, as a realm now. So agreed and um, very, very serious at this moment in time alongside the radio and the uh, electromagneto interference on the cellular levels that would go into the fields, you know, of, of, of our biorhythms. And we have a bio clock and a biorhythm. So we all, um, you know, are having disruption there through an external influence, it would seem. So um, brother um, Santos has mentioned before about field, is it fields of modality, waveforms, light and energy. And we'd not, we'll drop some names for somebody to research and we'll start with like Ken and Walter, um, Ken Wheeler and Walter Russell. Um, thank you for those uh, tips there and Nudge Santos, that's immensely helped many. They've told me to say, speak to Santos, tell him respect for the information shared there. You've, uh, you've given us a quantum boost in some of the areas of the toroidal energy, yin and yang, blue and red fields there of the you know flux of modality, the waveforms from Ken, is it Wheeler and uh, the Walter Russell, um, I'll go through all, they can research and find that. So um, in addition to, to back all of this up, I'll keep the thread. We've got Bruce and Greg, that would be Bruce of the Liptons and Greg of the Bradens that, that discuss and have been discussing um, hospitals in Beijing with no medicine, um, tackling cancer, using the divine matrix 
and the uh, the the power of the um, laws, laws of attraction, intent, and so forth. So um, that's that's to do with your tech and your energy. And do you want to reflect on that, either of you two, before I, I, I go on? Um. No, I was listening. Santos, do you want to say anything? Uh, about about what? I couldn't hear David. I can't hear him. I can't hear him very well. Oh. All right. Um, is it, I'll put the mic to my mouth. Is, is that better? I'm on a hands-free, so I've got, I can hear you through the headphones. Is that better, Santos? A little bit. Come on. Mm-hmm. I've, I've gone hands-free. Is that is that any clearer? You're quite clear to me, David. A little bit. All right, then, yeah, I'm just saying that we have the direct energy weapons, targeted individuals, the fields of modality, um, the Divine Matrix, Ken Wheeler, Walter Russell, Bruce Lipton and Greg Braden. Um, anything you wanna, you're you aware of them, you've brought us some of these names, so we say thank you. My scribes and the, the, the Britons say, tell Santos he's a legend, we love him, and uh, thank you for the, uh, the information with regards to... Yep, yep. Thanks, brother. Uh, yeah, all, all those guys speak about uh, divine energy, which is magnetism. Um, once you work with magnetism in your life, uh, you can you can get by. For instance, last night, I think it was about three in the morning, till I finally got a, a couple of winks. I put my magnets on. I'm using um, biomag biomagnetics to heal me and so uh, I put my magnets on one on my kidney and one on my solar plexus and after about 20 minutes I got to sleep so I'm working with magnets every day and they are helping me many things I do are helping me I'd be dead put it this way if what I've been through happened to anyone who doesn't know what I know they would be dead. They would be taking medications, they would be going to doctors, having operations, they'd be lost. You know, I'm doing this all by myself with, with knowledge and wisdom. So that's how I'm, I'm succeeding. So I, I've only got a few more minutes, guys, because I've got to get back and hopefully I'll have internet when I get back. I've got to do a reading. Thank you so much for joining us, even though we had to do it. We've probably, we've sort of been on the phone now for about two hours trying to get to a hangout. Um, but you managed to do it. So thank you very much under the circumstances. Thank you. Mwah. David, Mwah. what do you want to say? The... Carry on. How's, how's the net there where you are? Well, it's really strange, isn't it? Because, you know, they always say, oh, well, it's the outage. Oh, well, it was the holidays. Well, we're all at home now and the internet is surviving. So I don't think it's ever been the internet. These things that happen are just, I don't know what they are, but the internet is standing up. Loads of people are watching telly. Loads of people are on their computers. It is a little bit jumpy, but considering everybody's at home, I'd say it was pretty good. Right. You know, they were obviously getting okay. us ready for this, weren't they, though? Yes. Yes. I mean, someone told me, you don't realise, it was in, in a message in the channel, they said, you've already got, we've already got 5G, it's in the routers. Yeah, that's true. Uh, may I just ask Santos, I've got a question, that, that item that I sent to that address you gave me, the GANs, um, that may, if you research that, and I can send you some more links, these are... Um, gravitational and magnetic balanced atomic atom apet, you know, uh, going back to the ancient technology. That's a bracelet that I forwarded on to you. Um, if you can't get to that, I will send you another one and I'll send you some um, test tubes full of this uh, this um, water of life from Dr. Keshe. So I'll message you afterwards when we've done this chat and uh, I'd like to, do a, yeah, to, to hear your opinion on that at some point in the future when you've got the time. I know you're very Thank busy. You, yeah, yeah, it's, it's working well. We're getting positive uh, results on this. And you said earlier about the stars and uh, astrotheology and the energies. Well, we are in quattro quarantine 40 
quantum, the end of Lent, astro, you know, um, astrological alignments, planets, and uh, times. It's uh, I'm I'm grateful for the information you've given. I'm involved with others in the stars as well as you, and and we're all experiencing um, energy and fields weirdness. But we've noticed the forty, the quattro, the end of Lent. Um, the quantum grammar and um, yeah, the alignments, the hygiene um, areas. So uh, yes, uh, uh, it's not such a bad thing. It's given us light in a way and strength. And as above, so below. So below, you know, as above. So um, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, yeah, we we're on it, and it makes sense now. It makes sense more than ever. Um, synchron syncretism and synchronicities. Um, we're backing them up. So. Um, thank you for that and uh, it's not all negative there's a lot of positive love coming out of this uh, in amongst the trans humanism transgressions transformation so the energy is they don't want us to and and, and um, we're connecting so um, yeah that's very good in a way what, what you've helped bring out there from you know energies and planets it's it's positivity all right thank you david santos thank you Sa thank you david santos is, yep. What can you do then with what's going on with you yep. then? If it's all got worse, what, what what can you do? Just use the magnets then? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, just keep to my protocols. I've been doing it for 10 years. That's how I got to here. I uh, just have to keep going. Other, anyone else would be dead because the, their habits are not, not as uh, advanced as mine. I've done all the yoga, the meditating, I've done the chanting, I've doing all the protocols, I've done millions of protocols. If I didn't do those, I'd be in a grave. So I just have to keep at it and stay in nature as much as possible. Grounding, I walk on the dirt every day, do my solar gazing, solar work. That's it. And thank you for being you on this much. hangout. And I felt a bit guilty when that you were saying that, but you know, I have a timetable too, Santos. You know, I have other people to see mm -hmm. and other things to do. Sometimes it is a little bit like that, isn't it? It just doesn't help when you're not feeling that good. No. Yeah, but I, I thank you so much for the time, Santos. Mwah! Chat room. Thanks, Mwah! guys. Take care. Good courage. You. Good courage to you. Right, well, Santos has gone now and I'm left with David. <laughs> David no, wanted I... to just add a few bits, didn't you, David? Yeah, before we close down, because there's, there's quite a lot of controversial, very serious and technical subjects in, encompassed in this last half an hour's um, discussion, uh, conversation that we've just had there, the dialogue with Brother Fibonacci. And uh, I'd just like to, because you're gonna, when you premiere this, you, you know how busy your chat room gets and we get people, you know, scribes in, asking questions and giving information. So. I'd just like to say that as we are working together on many joint projects, uh, enterprises, um, one and one love, you know, one mind, one heart, one soul, one planet, one realm, all of this. So that's kind of more, more one. But uh, I just wanted to touch upon those words that we've mentioned, and we've talked about the the, the energy, and um, Ken, Walter, Bruce, and Greg. If anybody is up in the chat room, you know, as this is premiering, and they are. Um, experienced and uh, you know not wet behind the ears it's not an insult to the ones that are new to it but we need help so if you have researched Ken Wheeler's work or Walter Russell's and uh, fields of modality waveforms light energy you know uh, linking on to Bruce Lipton and Greg Braden so there's four strong names there they're all men I'll, uh, I'll throw in Magenta Pixie she's a lovely female that does a lot of chatting on tube and uh, you're looking at the areas of, of uh, consciousness, dissonance, dissonance and resonance to some extent and the fields of modality, waveforms, the light energy and the divine matrix, uh, dissonance of resonance. I did do a, a chat about the, uh, um, I did a presentation, order and chaos about the uh, nun, N-U-N and um, that in itself um, lacking both shape and force, it's the story of creation but from um, Egyptian point of view, ancient history. So we are into a lot of scientific quantum fields of modality. And I'd like to express this time for me and you and uh, Santos to say we'd like to join forces with anybody that has these kind of uh, areas of research under their belt. 
we have what well, you mean because actually only the people are going to manage to do this you know right now everything uh, that we thought was yeah. important even six weeks ago is less important now and hopefully everybody can get that into their brains and wake up a bit and realize that hopefully this is where we start looking after ourselves well yes we, we recognize that uh, throughout history academic and uh, academia has not presented much but uh, the greats that worked um, and changed the realm do you know what i'm hoping worked, david what i'm hoping them, is you know how they labeled things like they did it with like gems they'd say oh hippies like them so they would go oh well i'm not a hippie so i can't like gems it was the way that they did the subversion and it goes on and on and on and they've got to yeah. believe that nasa's real and that they're in space i'm just hoping that enough people know that there's something drastically wrong and that they can see that it's a charade and that we start looking after ourselves and that's what this plea, this plea is from me. This request is for somebody. I'll give a contact out at the end, rather than you dealing with it or sister on your channel. But uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna get uh, together as a clan, as a tribe, unite them. Mans are gonna unite in a way um, under the stars at the uh, end of this 40 quattro quarantine and we're going into the quantum in grammar and in science lent ended roughly i think the 9th of april 10th 9th the last day the 10th of april and we've got the alignments brought to us by santos and claudio with the hygiene aries i wonder what it really meant you know because all they had to do was tell us it was a tax day and leave it there for years and years because we started a new tax year as well well, that's uh, the sovereign self-masters, uh, initiates of self and law cannot be taxed. Only legal persons can be taxed. Indigenous mans are not to be taxed. It's a, it's a Roman thing. Um, pay Caesar his taxes, as they wrote uh, via Constantine, um, you know, through the New Testament there, um, as we brought. So, yeah, they've written in, um, you know, pay, pay what uh, uh, is due to Caesar. Give render unto Caesar that which is his, roughly paraphrase, which means those that wrote the book telling you Jesus says to pay taxes we've already ironed out the uh, the fact that the Jews did not want idolatry false idols and gods and so forth so the Romans had a real bind to try and get them to pay tax to a foreign man such as Caesar so um, yeah we touched upon that the tax is a bit of a it's got an X in it as well Do you know what when it's you're talking about this X's in them. it oh, makes sorry, me yeah. it makes me think that we're supposed to be living in 2020 but it's almost like we're living six you know 680 AD or something like a lot of what we're following seems to always go back to this Roman time or something. The, yeah, the encumbrance of uh, coins and money and taxes and bonds and uh, duties, obligations, uh, yeah, which leads us to we're going the Romans, the Romans. Oh, people, water, yeah, be wary of that. And, I know, uh, and it's like they twist things around, they twist, they twist everything, like. Maybe some of the history from the past is correct, but it's not, well, we'll change that queen around and we'll move that up there and we'll do this. And by the time we look at it, it's different. But, you know, above all, one of the things I want to come out of this, David, is that truth prevails because we're just living in a complete lie. All of it. Everything you can yeah, think of. Medication, of education, our history, what we're living on, going to the moon. It's all rubbish. <laughs> Agreed, and um, we um, we use our due diligence and we look at his story, history, and the stories there. History is written by the winners, not the uh, the losers. There, yeah, so, and they can uh, change it. Like they've, com um, they've, they've completely omitted a Tartaria time <laughs> or whatever that is. If it's omitted. So it seems we are in um, a time now, planetary-wise, we're going up to uh, December, the year of light is coming and we've got Aquarius about 2025, we're in a, I'd say a pregnancy stage, stage before the pictures and waters are flood in some essences, uh, you know, a zodiac, astro-theological, conscious energy flood there's a change cyclical cycles are being reset which leads us into the transhumanism schisms and isms be wary of those words uh, take that uh, you know not just from me research you know uh, fascism is another one to, to just for alarm bells we're looking at transgressions that's some kind of uh, transgresses uh, and transgressions are a faith 
um, religious type of word where I'm a man of faith. I've done with religions and uh, transformations, which is the fiat, the fiscal, the mon I, the AI, you know, the one I money, mon I, and you've got credit, energy, sources, and uh, uniform commercial codes, the seas of space. So we're going into a uh, uncharted waters to, uh, you know, for wordplay there, and um, we're going to start to use our will and we're going to testify. So for those that are wanting to do something I'm, I'm closing down i'm going to yield in a minute those that are wanting to do something that have energy that have love and light compassion and time we've all got plenty of time it seems so we're going to um give away um some documents uh, <laughs> i say this um lightly uh, not straight away we're going to do some short videos and uh, they're going to be stuff like uh, information on no legal advice standard we're not in the bar society we're not a uh, boat people admirals romans we are um i'm a britain man um natural flesh and blood you know uh, i wouldn't say human just natural man i'm not a legal person and i'm not i'm not a natural person a flesh and blood natural man with a will i think therefore i am and our last will and testament is going to be given away uh, you know it's roughly a 20 pound document for you to go and find online it's not the, it's not thousands of pounds worth of you know uh, armor of god we talk about ephesians and if you can go through ephesians and find me where it talks about it not you sister but the viewers uh, i won't give i'll let you work this one and go dig in in the new international version I uh, brought this out uh, in the video called The Life of the Flesh is in the Blood with Brother Kevin at the weekend and it went down really well. Um, the armour of God, your will, and um, we, will, we will then start to uh, inform you on how we um, open a door or not open a door, um, as, as it is, um, uh, answer or correspond to a letter. And when the telephone rings, we will also give you uh, key information on, uh, on how we divert the liabilities there. So your will and testament is to protect your uh, assets, your fiscal, your financial, your, your uh, intrinsic and uh, non-intrinsic, um, many different things here. So it will be a, um, an irrevocable um, document. It won't be a revocable, which means, you know, while you're alive, you can have a living will, which would be editable, which will be revocable, revocable. Um, and you can have one that is set in stone, that is not to be changed unless you divorce or something, then, then, then the beneficiaries and whatnot would change in your will. And you'd use a codicil to make them amendments uh, supplementary to the original will if you was uh, changing, you know, uh, entitlements and properties, uh, <laughs> etc. So we've got three things there, how to answer the door, the phone, and or, or answer correspond. Can I ask you something, letter. David? For this, yeah. you will put a message in the chat, you know, in, in the messages so where people can get in touch with you for all this. The word, yes, uh, well led up, thank you, sister. Contact at splspro.com. And uh, I, David, or uh, yeah, just me at the moment, there's only me accessing that one, and we'll get that in due course. And like Santos said, there are hundreds and thousands of contacts coming through. There is myself. Greg and uh, Kevin at the minute managing um, the back end of, uh, of our trusts that we set up and our duties and obligations under the sacred contract where we would like to make the world's resources common heritage for man again and take them away from the corporation. So if you email contact at SPLSPRO dot com and then you'll get in touch with me there we do have a domain but i'm not here to answer that it's on the email if you look at at and then the splspro.com pro creators are protecting um and yeah we're going to do this uh, as a fan we have specialized forums in the private and uh, we'll do specialized uh, what watch parties on um base uh, sorry uh, what is it facebook they oh well yeah oxymoron and uh, we will have specialized forums uh, we'll do watch parties we'll come back here to you and um obviously on i indy um as another backup channel um spls space pro on youtube so we'll put the um, watch parties and you're also and, indie glow on youtube yeah, so we've got a couple of channels on a little indie, David's, uh, I, the man David, manages indie, and that's my uh, my legal account here for that, and uh, it's on its last leg, so I set up a bit ago, a while ago, um, another channel, which is SPLS PRO, but two words, 
um, and then um, we will go there and upload the videos and do some focus projects and jobs working progress with um, with how we get on with this yeah. so we're going to start to uh, to protect and work together but I'd like any of these topics with the, the money the, the codes the energy the stars the fields of modality the direct energy weapons or the law and the will so there's, there's big areas to look at we can't do them all we're prioritizing them we are way behind so that's it that's my um can I add um, something appeal. can I add yeah. something David I love you. <laughs> button oh, button moon, you. David. Oh, yeah, you're a lovely soul. You are. I love you. Um, I say that in front of my queen. At first, she was like, what? Are you saying you love David? Uh, you love me. I am your queen. And I'm like, this is Sister Special K. She's, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's uh, the lady that I talk to on Sun and Moon. And she's oh, yes, I know who you mean. And all was good again. And um, we, we share the love. And between female and male, we say that word. We're not told we're loved enough each day. And, oh, um, David, yeah, I love yeah, your, I love your queen is. too. Oh bless, I know you do, and uh, she loves you for what you've allowed us to do, and how you help us. And uh, it's a, uh, it's a plutonic, and it's uh, there is no, it's uh, what do we say here? It's uh, something love. I can't think of the word where there's no contract and there's no expect unconditional. Yeah, we have love, unconditional uh, love. Yeah. We have. Yeah, yeah. And, um, it's, I it's love it because David will always message me and then he puts in button moon, which is I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, I just like to rhyme if I can. Sometimes it's by accident, sometimes on purpose, and keep the flow, the energy. You see, my presentation has slowed. I've become more uh, calm, more uh, you know uh, structured, and uh, I'm just so happy that uh, we can have some time with Santos. But it looks like he needs some extra help there, and what he said he's doing, um, yeah, is amazing. Because anybody what else. What can you say to him? He already said everybody says try this when it's nothing to do with those. I've got all these people wanting me. I don't feel very good. What is what advice can you give Santos? I didn't get to tell him. I'm studier with a cracked front uh, incisor, an abscess above it, and an infection spreading across my right cheek. And I daren't go to hospital. Um, I don't want to go in and not come out. I, I'm treating myself with um, lemon, manuka, lemon, uh, curcumin, uh, silver water, and I've just drank. David, it sounds like the men are being killed off. No, this is just, I had an accident coming off a motorbike when I was 15 and they took out the, um, is it root canal, the nerves in, in both my front teeth and the dentist said they will die and you'll need them replaced and I was 15 then and now I'm 40 something, you know, and uh, one of them's just given up the other week and cracked and it's got loose and it's, it's, it's a tremendous amount of pain and uh, um, yeah, I've had a lot of information from the scribes, but I'm dealing with a oh, bit of Oh, what's happening to the yeah. men in the world? What's happening to you? Well, it's, it's, not, it's just a natural thing that happens through fatigue and wear and tear, I suppose, but the timing is really pants, um, because everywhere's closed, and if you go anywhere, you might... Uh, yeah, and you don't want to go out. anywhere, do you, at the moment? So <laughs> your car doesn't want to break down, nothing with these things. Um, you don't want to go to the doctors. You don't want anything yeah. breaking down in the house, and you don't want anything going wrong in your body right now. But again, we've got the private aspect and the commercial realm. Is st you know, a few years ago, we used to say, this has come from Brother Kevin uh, the other day in a chat, he said, you know, Dave, we used to say we'd like to stop the world and get off. Um, oh, no, it was G-Star, sorry, not Kevin, uh, Brother G. And he says, you can now, you can actually get off and, uh, you know, have a walk around, but you can't go far because you're not allowed to get out of your house, or you're allegedly... You know, uh, under emergency well, congressional we've, we've always, measures. We've always <laughs> kept in touch like this, though, haven't we? You know, it's no different right now. We spent a lot of time in our homes, and we got in touch with us on the, each other on the computer. So it, it hasn't changed for us. But we do keep in touch. Me and David speak privately. Um, not everybody I do, but I do have lots of friends. Um, <laughs> but David, is there anything else you want to say? Because this little video is now, you know, is a, is a certain time and people only listen for a certain amount of time so. yeah we do that, that's, that's everything my love uh, bless you and thank you thank you to sam so I thank you to all in the chat room and all that continue to do the good work and uh, promote and fight against the uh, adversity in the face of adversity we will take the faith and if you uh, stick with it we, you will be delivered so i'll leave it there uh, 
it's been uh, very much of a privilege and an honor to be here again and to mix yeah, with Yeah, especially as we lost Santos. We were sort of, sort of, dum da dum da dum <sighs> for about an hour. Dum da da dum dum dum. But he managed He's to, uh, yeah, but it doesn't sound very good what's happening to him. But thank you very much, Santos, and I hope that it all goes away. And um, thank you, David, and I hope so does your tooth. Um, thanks very much for the hangout. Thank you, and chat room. Bye, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all.